Thank you so much. So, my first question to you is, what is the role of probability theories in neuroscience? Oh, well, that's a big question. A uh, good question, too. There are several sources of randomness in, uh, in the brain. Uh, for, for one, uh, things are happening at uh, many different scales. And so if you look at the small scale, it's going to be a uh, very uh, small relative to other scales. And therefore, we won't want to model everything. It's the same story for, for many, many uh, topics where we model um, stochastically. And uh, some, of the, some of the examples, in particular in the brain, are iron channels, which open and close uh, many, many very fast, and also synaptic noise. And then if we look at uh, raster plots from recordings of many neurons firing, we see that, that the raster plots have a lot of randomness in, in them. And so we know that there has to be uh, probability in neuroscience. Uh, an example I like is that of a firing model. So we uh, of, often in, in writing a mathematical paper about uh, a particular problem in neuroscience, we start with a firing model where we're uh, simulating uh, many, for instance, Zizikiewicz neurons. And uh, with interactions built into the uh, coding of the model. And uh, we can, we, if we want, regard this as a, a rather general space-time point process. So a Poisson process, but with its intensity measure, which is a function of space and time. Um, that would be a non-homogeneous, point process or Poisson, if you will, point process, uh, which already um, in the intensity measure contains the information about the interactions of the neurons that we have built into our, our code. And then having this intensity measure, uh, this uh, space-time measure will satisfy um, Mathematical, a mathematical equation, which might be a stochastic partial differential equation or a, a stochastic without the partial differential equation, but it, it would typically involve Gaussian noise. So there's this step going from a Poisson type model to a, uh, to a Gaussian type um, stochastic differential equation, and then we may simulate that. And, uh, it, and we also may be able to do analysis with that, whereas we wouldn't be able to when we just have the firing model. So a problem for probabilists is to prove that this works, that one can go from a firing model to a uh, stochastic differential equations model and actually proof that we are looking at the same thing. We do this already, but we don't have the probability theory, the formal probability theory to back up that kind of connection. So um, my second question to you is, how can stochastic neural circuits contribute to modeling neural systems? Oh, well, uh, Stochastic neural circuits uh, comes up uh, in the following way. Uh, we, we know that uh, information is transferred from region to region, for instance, in a cortex. Uh, and uh, this information transfer is associated with something called coherence which is a, a way of measuring how much synchrony there is at various frequencies. Um, the frequency of gamma, of gamma, called gamma, which we take to be about 40 hertz, is 
is uh, known to uh, to be associated with cortical regions, and the, we also know that uh, uh, the transfer of information is connect is assisted by the pulvinar. The pulvinar is in the midbrain and it's the largest nucleus of the thalamus. And also we know that the pulvinar is associated with a frequency which is a much slower frequency than in the cortical region. It's only about 10 hertz. And it's also known that uh, there is some connection between uh, the pulvinar and uh, the pulvinar actually putting input into the two parts of the cortex or the two regions of the cortex that we're looking at, and that it somehow insists, it assists in the transfer of information from one part of the cortex to another. But what isn't actually known and what we are working on, and I will talk about in this upcoming lecture in December, uh, is just how it, just how the pulvinar does that job. There's a conjecture that that uh, a phase difference between the two alpha frequencies in uh, going from the pulvinar to two regions of the cortex that the phase difference is connected with uh, how information gets transferred. And, uh, and we have made a study of that, um, and our study uses a stochastic differential equation model, which is a model of, of the neural circuit connecting the pulvinar with these two regions of cortex. And uh, with our, with our uh, SDE approach, uh, we get an answer to a question which differs from an answer which has been obtained in another uh, paper, uh, but there started from the, fire, the neuron firing type of simulation. So here we have an example where uh, we would really like to have a proof, but we don't, with, that says that their uh, neuron finding model is really equivalent in a strong sense to our uh, difference, stochastic differential equations model. <laughs>